Hello, I welcome you to this training. In this video, I want to show you what to do if your Revit family was not loaded properly. And I am using Revit 2015 for this training. What you are going to do is, you know, on that page, on that your assets page, I have two type of models that I've sent to you. One is 2017 file and the second one is 2015. So it depends on the Revit software that you have. If the Revit software you have is 2015, it means you will not be able to open 2017. So you are going to be starting from 2015. The one I labeled 2015. That is the one you are going to download. Okay, when you download, you open your Revit 2015, like I have opened now. This is my Revit 2015. So you are going to click open, and you are going to go to the folder you save it in. So this is the folder. Okay, this is it here. Yeah? This is a folder I save my own in. Depends on where you save your own in. in. So you are going to open it. So you will be using it as a template for any design you are doing. So that your families will be automatically loaded. All the families I have used in that file are what you, you start using. And you can even modify some of those uh, families to your own taste. I will show you how you can customize those uh, families to your own taste. Okay, so you can see this is one of my own projects. And you are going to be using this as your template. You can delete everything. The only, only thing you may not delete is the elevations. I hope you know the elevation I'm talking about. I have hidden them. Let me show them. I hide them. Okay, these are the elevation. I hide them before. Let me unhide them. They are the only ones you will not delete so that you will not have problem of Revit family not loaded. Okay, uh, where is this one on this side? Let's see that one. Okay, let me. Okay, you can see you will not delete this elevation because if you delete this, you will not be able to see your elevations. Okay, so you are going to highlight everything and check filter so that if there is a elevation that is selected make sure you check true okay elevation is selected here make sure you unselect it don't delete that one then if there is views view are also elevations don't delete it so what else okay every other thing can be deleted we hit okay and you can see delete here can delete it bam it is gone it's deleted then you can go to first floor and also delete what i have in the first floor though i don't even have first floor in this project it's a bungalow if you like you can go to the roof and delete everything so that you start your own afresh you check filter leave this survey don't delete the survey point don't delete views and make sure you have not deleted elevation there is no project base point don't delete this what else okay every other thing can be deleted okay so you are going to hit delete correct these are my own section if you like you can delete the section line and you can create your own 
we can delete this don't delete this one okay so now you are good to go you can now start your project these are your elevation uh, markers you can leave those ones so you can start your project now assuming i start a project now i pick a wall and i draw i go to window you see it will no longer complain that windows are not loaded so if i i cannot place a window here this is angle window i can place it i can press my space bar to toggle it then if i want to place another window and this time around i don't want to place angle window i want to place normal window i'll click on this drop down and if you check through you see all my own windows that i'll be using this particular project and you can select the one that appeals to you you can select the one that you like and if you don't like it I will teach you, I will show you how to modify it. You can modify it. All you need to do is click on it, click edit family, and here you are going to modify it to your own taste. I will show you from beginning to the end how you can create window family. I have a video on that how to create a window family and when you are done creating it you load into the project and here you have if i want to place a door for instance i will go to architecture tab select door then you have my own door that i've used in this project you see please start using them as simple as that if you don't like it you can edit it to your own taste okay now you see something here this wall break what makes it break is that there is a wall that is hidden somewhere here if i show hidden is this thing that is hidden that is making it to break like that so i have to delete this i have to delete this so that ish okay it's not still not bad i will hide them first okay you can see this elevation i didn't see before i'll hide them then this one i'll delete it this wall let me delete it let me delete this wall This cars, I can delete it. Okay, now let me go back. Okay, so this is your own now. You can see the wall is no longer break because something was hidden before. So you can start modeling your own now from here. You are not going to have problem of families not loaded again. Okay, I hope you understand what I have just done now. You are now going to save it as your own project now. You, you go to this application menu and you are going to click and hit save as a project. Then you select the folder you want to save it in and give it your own name. Give it your own name the name you want to give it it could be the name of your client that you are working for or the name of whatever you want to give it sure anything you want to give it you type and hit save and continue your your work there so see you in the next video bye